Hello everybody, so good to see you. Welcome back. For those that are new here, my name is Rachel Hoffman. I am the creator of Virtual Doll Convention. I own Turn of the Century Antiques Doll Shop out here in Denver, Colorado, and I love to film fun things, usually doll related, sometimes makeup related, and put them on the internet. This morning you saw me put on my makeup and do my hair for this video. So what is this video gonna be? Today, it's just gonna be a day of filming of just some some things, some updates and things that we got going on in the shop. So I hope that you enjoy and thank you so much for tuning in. Yesterday, we took some time and filled out this case. It's not completely done, but almost. So I'm just, I wanna show you guys a little bit of what we did in here. We just have some really fun things. I'm hoping to get them all priced soon because I know when you come to a doll shop you want to see what everything is and also see the prices on it but we're getting there we're getting there you know how hard we're working to get there and I'm just showing you guys a little pan so you can see some of the the cuties in the case we do a little bit of everything there's no rules here so we'll mix little stife things with antiques with you know, Grace should even be in this cabinet. I like to do a little bit of everything. We shared a couple pictures yesterday, but it's isn't it so nice when you finally get a case complete? Oh, it's such a relief. Look at the little baby in the bathtub with his little stife rabbit. Oh, it's so cute. Chad came here yesterday, our wonderful Chad, who is Grace's hairstylist and also our decorator, and he did this. And I am so thankful for Chad. Let me know what your favorite thing in the case is or if you like seeing the cases. It's fun, it's fun to share. So come along with us. We worked really hard yesterday clearing out a lot of the Grace dolls that were up here, taking up a lot of this area, and we moved them to the back. Once we get everything cleared out of here, which we're pretty darn close, look at how great and big this space is. What we're gonna do when we get it all cleared out is set up for the Virtual Doll Convention Christmas Pageant, which is going to be a wonderful Christmas tour, a holiday tour for all of us to enjoy during the first weekend of December. I will be going live soon, giving you all the details and all the nitty gritty of everything that is going to be taking place, but I can tell you that you're going to love it. And won't this be such a perfect spot Another thing that I'm going to do that I'm really looking forward to that I just want to share with you is I think I'm going to put the Magnolia wallpaper on, on this wall and then on this wall we're going to get this bathroom remodeled and then I'm going to put, the, put it right here as an accent. So the other end of the room has that wallpaper we love and I'm going to put it right here as an accent and I'm also going to put the wallpaper on the door because that's what they used to do in very, very, very old houses like in the 18th century. They would wallpaper the door so that the door would be invisible. I'm going to, I'm going to do that here. I think that'll be so fun. But let me know what you think about adding that. It's always nice to have an accent wall and I think it'll really, really tie it together. This case is, it's one of my favorite cases, but we need to fill it with other things. These are just kind of some uh, cute little half dolls, but we're gonna get some other things in there. Let's go out front. A lot of you are new here. Most of you are not, but let's just go peek out front. Are, are we good, Eric? Can we go off-roading? Yeah, we're good. Okay, uh, our, our Eric's here, he is awesome, and he, oh, it's so nice to have help filming. Of course, our wonderful dollhouse will be part of our Christmas display. Let's go check out outside. Yesterday we had our door service, so it opens and closes so much better, and then tomorrow we're getting our new security system installed, so we're just, we're just little by little getting everything figured out. Hopefully you can hear. It's a beautiful day in Colorado. It's bright, it's sunny, but this is the front of our shop. We've been working hard on it. Chuck did a lot of the painting. He refurbished the sign. Stanley did a lot of repainting, but here's what it looks like. It really is one of my favorite places on earth. I spend a lot of time here, not just I spend a lot of I spend a lot of time here. I'm usually here every weekend and this 
this pause in travel has really given me the time and space to do what I need to do here and it's it's a big project so now we're gonna do a little bit of off-roading I know you're here for it right are you here for it okay so if you would like to do a little off-roading in the back give us an emoji give us a thumbs up give us a comment and keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle at all times because it might be a little bit of a bumpy ride but I know you can I know you can handle it okay Come on in. These are our Grace dolls right here. Most of these will be shipped at the end of the month. These are the FlexPay dolls that are hanging out right there. We've been doing a lot of organizing and things. We're gonna redo this entire space back here like we did the front, but I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna, we, we, do, we do what we can every day. <laughs> So don't, if you've got a huge project, don't let it overwhelm you. Sometimes I just do one little corner. Sometimes we'll clear out a whole room. It just, it just depends on kind of what's in, in you to do it. So just follow your, follow your instincts and don't be afraid to do as much or as little as you need to. So this is my desk. This is formerly my mother's desk, but it's been a great desk for me. I thought I was going to always have it cleared off and obviously that has not happened. So looking at it right now, you can see my laptop, you can see my half-eaten lunch, my the dolls that I'm working on, different things. I come and I'll eat a few bites, I'll respond to some emails and then I get back up and we, we just start doing stuff. So Stanley, our wonderful Stanley, he is getting some labels ready to print from some orders that we are doing and Eric works with Stanley. I work with Stanley. Stanley works with everybody. He does amazing things. So he is back there working hard. He likes to listen to blues music. He's also a very talented blues musician and filmmaker. All right, let's see what the ladies are up to. What are the ladies up to? We are going to start sorting. Clothes. Oh, they're going to start sorting clothes. One thing that we are going to take to in this video that we they filmed earlier this morning was how to tell a synthetic wig from a human hair wig. Right. This is a these are great tips for you. So we're just going to show that and then we'll be right back. Hi. I'm Linda Wall <laughs> and and mm -hmm. Stephanie Morastica and we work at the turn of the century and we were discussing uh, we are in the middle of a project and it's really hard nowadays when you glance at a doll when we get them in to say okay is this human hair or is it I mean it's really easy when it's mohair we can tell mohair but there's different qualities and the mono acrylic wigs nowadays are really nice and a lot of times people mistake them as human hair so it, it's a problem if we advertise that it has a human hair wig. So just to make sure, I thought maybe it would be interesting for you to see how we test them. And you can see, these are very nice wigs. And would, you know, at first glance, you might think they're human hair. Here's another one. It's not tangling up till I get it out of the sewing machine. <laughs> And it's not frizzing up like some of the other quality of synthetic wigs. But let us show you just a quick way you can test fabrics and natural fibers. So we want to make sure, and of course, this wig, just take a snip out. I'm going to let Stephanie tell, explain it to you. So you just want to cut off. You don't need a huge chunk, enough to be able to hold. And you want to use either some tweezers, these are forceps that were just in my drawer. You want something, obviously we don't want to cause a fire, so we want something to catch our, our the burning that's going to come off of it, and a lighter. So we're just going to start. And you can tell for this one because it kind of start and stops. You don't want to hold on to it when it's real hot, but when you go to touch it, it's kind of plasticky. It's a good quality monoacrylic wig, but 
it didn't burn and ash out like human hair would. So that was, which book was that? It was this one. Okay. Okay, so we'll take it, this one. So we know this one is human hair, but we want to You can see, definitely tell. There's yeah. No doubt. We want to see how it one. burns. This the hard part is I don't think you can clip off a chunk of hair from someone <laughs> and burn it. But maybe you can ask them to verify and if the wig is human hair or monoacrylic. So as this one you can see it burns up, burns up really quick. And then when I go to feel it, it is ash. It's all burned off and then I can see the black ash from it. So that is human hair. That's what would happen if you burned your own hair. And it would be the same as cotton. Correct. Cotton with you ash. can do this with fabrics to see if there's any polyester or cotton. Okay, go, do that. So one. here's another wig that we got in today on a doll. That looks very nice, it's very well done. So we're just gonna trim off this is a little part underneath. I just need enough to be able to hold on to. And then I'm going to go ahead and start burning it. It kind of looks like the human hair, but it doesn't ash. There's no ash that comes off of that. So it's beaded up because there is some type of synthetic. Try it again, it. Stephanie, and show them. Watch the flame. The flame is another giveaway. You can also, if you can smell real well, you can smell. Human hair smells like burning paper, whereas a synthetic sometimes. I think it smells like feathers. Yeah, <laughs> or plastic. So we're just going to start, same kind of thing. And you can see it, so right there, you can see it kind of curling up from the heat. That also, I unfortunately found that out when I was trying to style a wig and I used the curling iron on it and it melted and I assumed it was human hair. So that was, that was one way I did it. It could be that some of these nicer wigs are combined with a couple different fibers. Okay. Here's the mohair, try the mohair so if you can show. So mohair, because it's a, a natural fiber, it's going to do the same thing as human hair, because human hair is a natural fiber as well. So when we go to burn it, you can see how it burns up really quick. And then when you, when you go to crunch it you can see it's it ashes out because of the because of the because it is non-synthetic it is a natural fiber so that's one way to tell you can do that on your fabrics you can cut a little piece of fabric burn it if it ashes out it can be cotton silk rayon or if you get beading then it's a synthetic fiber and it's got some type of polyester in it so hopefully this will help you and um, help you not to uh, stick your wig to your curling iron right? <laughs> <laughs> and create another problem. So um, hopefully this was um, informative and you might try it, but you might let your husband know before <laughs> you start <laughs> testing your wigs because it does, it does down. smell. We let the guys know that we were going to be testing wigs. So they didn't panic and say oh what's on fire so <laughs> we'll talk to you soon <laughs> thanks one of the things that's really important to do in any business or in any space but especially a doll shop is organize am i right yes <laughs> if you don't it becomes unruly <laughs> it becomes unruly it becomes a disaster so 
we're pretty well organized here, I think. What do you think? We're getting there. We're, we're getting are, there. We're, we're yeah. really getting there. We're getting there. So obviously we have some more to do, but we're right now, the ladies, you guys are going to organize some lots for eBay where we're going to put like 30 things in a lot and then they're just going to go. So that'll be fun. Are you, and you're organizing wigs right now? Yep. We pulled some human hair wigs off dolls and we're organizing them by size. Okay. So organizing wigs on. by size. Now, how do you... Now, when, to figure out the size, when it says seven to eight, does that mean seven to eight inches circumference? So these I measured with a tape measure because they're too small to put on a... We have some heads that are standard. Like this is a 14, I believe. And so you take the wig and you put it on the head form. And if it fits, that's the size. Okay, so how do we know what size this is? This is a... Linda has measured these and labeled them. So this is a 14 to 15 head size. That is so helpful. And now is. if you don't have these, you'll just measure it with a tape right. measure. So then you just take the, hold the wig upside down, find your beginning of your tape measure, and then you just kind of roughly lay it in there. like Because ideally you would measure your doll's head and it's about 14 and 3 fourths. So between 14 and 15. Ideally you would, let's pretend this is a doll, we would measure her head to determine, and this is 14 and about a fourth, what size wig would go on the head. Then you don't have to keep trying on wigs. So by doing this, we've sorted our wigs. This is a beautiful human hair wig. And then when we go to have, then we can measure the doll that needs a wig and we go to our drawers and miraculously there's a whole bunch of wigs and their sizes and we know where to start. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Sure. That was so helpful. I learned, I'm always learning and I can learn from every single person that's here because everyone is so talented and knows so much about what they do. So I am so grateful for that. So when you are organized you make if, if you're in business or it's, or if it's just for your time uh that you're doing it you make money by efficiency you make time is money right time is your most valuable currency so when we can just go and do things and it takes not very much time it's great we can get 10 or 15 dolls ready in a day when when sometimes it would be two or three so i'm really glad that they're organizing and they're doing a great job sometimes when you see all this it doesn't look organized but as doll collectors and sewers you understand that this actually is there is a method to our madness and we know what we're doing right linda we know what we're right. doing we do yeah we know what we're doing over here so right here, we, this is all just kind of random vintage stuff. We're gonna get this all put into lots of 30 items, I think categorized by size. Are we gonna do it by size? Probably by size. By size, okay. Yeah. And then we're gonna put those on eBay. So that'll be fun. That'll happen next week. This isn't gonna be happening today, but we're gonna look at Linda. She's just she's just going. I am on a mission. She's, she's on a mission. I want. She's after it. You want this thing out of here. Yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> She's after it. I like it. Okay, I have to interrupt what we were just talking about because this just in, Lavon is making potato salad today. Here's a picture. Now, Linda, tell us about the potato salad. Uh, Mom is known for her potato salad. Everybody that has a birthday party always wants Mom's potato salad and so she always makes potato salad so we are having brandy's birthday party tomorrow and it was potato salad of course and so i have to tell her how many people and then she does her peeling and gary check the potatoes because her eyesight's pretty bad and then she'll boil them and she um chops them up and does her eggs and she puts her mayonnaise in and, and we better not ever misplace the celery seed. It has to be <laughs> right in that one spot in the spice cabinet oh. because she can't see very good. But one time we had celery salt in there and she Bless was her. very upset. <laughs> Bless her. So Brandy is her granddaughter and Gary is Linda's husband. 
so that you know who these people are. And she is making this. Now, it, lo it looks like a big bowl. So is it, is it a big party? Just 10. Just 10. Would Levon, do you think, ever share her recipe? Oh, yeah. Oh, she'll share her recipe. Okay, we can look forward to that. Raise your hand out there if you want Levon's potato <laughs> salad recipe. I know I do. It's good. It's, it's good. good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds like fun. But it's it's sort of like the old-fashioned recipes. It's sort of like a dash of this. And when it, it feels goopy here and when it does that, it's like... To taste. Yeah. You, ha you have to taste it. Yeah. And yeah. you have to have onions in it. Is there eggs in it? Yes, there's oh, eggs. Oh, I love eggs in potato salad. Yum! No, no pickles, just salt and pepper and Miracle Whip. We have to have Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip. Mm -hmm. Not mayonnaise. Not mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. Miracle Whip has, uh, it has a sweet kind of flavor. Right. Well, that sounds good. So we're going to have to try that. I love that. Hope you guys enjoyed that picture. Jeez. Linda, thank you for, oh, for always sharing LaVon with us. Well, that's good. I'm glad you enjoy it. We have a virtual birthday party celebration in the works for LaVon for her 102nd birthday in November. Mm -hmm. When's her birthday? November 8th. November 8th. We already have a paper doll of LaVon. How amazing is the paper doll? It is so cute. It is so cute. She's got her own outfit and she's got her McDonald's outfit. Yes. And it is, it's cute. Diana Vining made the paper doll. It has all these different outfits. It has LaVon making jam, LaVon at the doll shop. It is the cutest paper doll in the world. And then the, the but the McDonald's outfit. It has a McDonald's outfit. Instead of saying, I'm loving it, it says I'm LaVon in it. Yes. yes. <laughs> she She's gonna have baby kittens. <laughs> <laughs> when she finds out we're having this party. A, a virtual birthday, birthday party. party. And she she does, you know, she'll always say, it's just another day. It's just another day. Okay. LaVon is so cute. I asked her if she had Facebook, and she said, I don't have a phone. That's right. And she doesn't want one. And she doesn't want one. I love that. You go, girl. <laughs> she I want to be like LaVon some days. Feisty? I yeah, think oh, you yeah. already are. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, we hope you guys enjoyed this little LaVon commercial, but... God bless her. She's she, wonderful. She's trucking. She's trucking. This is this is reality doll TV. So I don't ever like to just show you the perfect version because there's a lot of hard work and organization and and stuff that goes behind getting to that final thing. And as doll people, we like to learn from each other. So I hope that sharing some of these things was helpful. Thank you so much, Linda and Stephanie, for sharing your wig secrets. Not that they were secrets, but it's it's good to, to learn. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, give us a comment. The best thing that you can do is share it. That helps uh, get us out there and, and really helps us out. So thank you so much for tuning in today. We enjoyed seeing you and chatting with you a little bit and we'll see you very soon. Bye.